So welcome to the 7th HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create tables and things are going to start getting a bit tricky here since tables are quite complicated you've got to create every single cell and everything like that so to begin what we need to do is create a table tag and this tag needs to be closed off like most tags and then inside here we've got to create the rows first and then inside those rows we're going to have columns now that might not make much sense in real life but that's the way it is in HTML so what we're going to do is we're going to do TR which is short for table row then close it off now in this we're going to have um, let's have four table rows so it's going to go four down and it's going to go two across let's say now in each of these what we're going to do is create a TD like that and then you've got to close these TDs off now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. And by the way, TD stands for Table Data. And this is what gives us our column. So this might seem quite complicated for now. So that's why we're going to kind of structure it a bit better in our code. And that's kind of like what I talked about in the uh, when I talked about indentation in the previous tutorial. So what's going to happen here is I'm just going to indent this like this. And I'm going to come back when I've finished indenting it. Okay, so now you should, you should make your code look something sort of like this. And this is just for structuring it well. You can do it the original way, but I'd recommend doing it like this. As I just said, to make it structure well. So, where we want to put data. Um, well, the best way to start using tables is to play around with it. To put a whole lot of values in each of these and see where they land up. So here I'm going to put test1. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it in all of them, like so. And then I'm going to change this to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So what this is going to do is it's just going to lay out a table with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 rows. Uh, column. No, not columns, not rows. Uh, 6 fields. So if we launch this in Chrome, you can see this kind of looks like plain text because we haven't put any styling to it but we can see that that is laid out as a table so now if we want to add a border for this table tag we just add border equals one pixel oh, and that will add a one pixel border to it so now if we run that in chrome you see we've got this one pixel border now oh then put Let's just put some values in these last ones. I missed those out. And that's it. And that is pretty much the basics of using borders. Um, one other thing you can do is, for example, this table row, I could do BG color equals, and then we can say green. So save it, run it, Chrome. And then here you see these ones are green. And you know you could have these to highlight the uh, rows. You could do like silver, or you could put a HTML color code in there. And we'll talk about that in a later tutorial. So you see, I've kind of got like these headers now. Um, of course, we could put any text styling in here we want. So we could have like these as bold, and put that as bold there, and end that off. Save it. Run. Chrome and you see these top two are in bold so it's kind of like headers in a way and that is pretty much the basics of using tables in HTML uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial